Hello everyone, it's PCL Pahe and today I'll be showing you how to fix hyping and online multiplayer lag issues for the game that's trending on your PC in few simple steps. So these steps will help you in getting the best out of your current internet connection while playing this game. Before starting this video, I want you all to know if you're facing lagging and stuttering issues in any of your game, then I've made videos on Smart Game Booster's advanced setup and best settings for NVIDIA control panel for best gaming experience. So make sure to watch those videos to improve your PC's overall gaming performance. Link of those videos is in the description of this one. And just before starting with the first step, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now for regular gaming updates related to this game and many other games. So without any further ado, let's get started with the first step. In the first step, we'll be clean booting our PC. So what clean booting does is, it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software configs too. So it is a really important step and if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, then I've already made a really quick guide on how to do so. I've provided the link of that video in the description of this one, so just clean boot your PC and then proceed to the second step. I consider this step to be a mandatory one before performing any other step. So now let's proceed to the second step. Now the second step will make a significant difference once you have performed it. What you have to do is you have to search for CMD on your PC and go to command prompt. Once you have opened the command prompt, you have to type ping, P-I-N-G ping, and 8.8.8.8 and press enter. Now it will calculate the average ping. So the average ping right now is 12 ms. Now type ping 1.1.1.1 and enter now. And now you will get the average ping of this DNS server and it is 11 ms. So 1.1.1.1 is better than 8.8.8.8 for me. And this difference is not significant in my case, but in your case, it might be significant. So whichever is better for you, now what you have to do is, you have to search for view network connections. View network connections, not network and computer settings. Network connections. And once you are here, you have to select the network you are connected to right now. So I am connected to my ethernet, but if you are connected to your Wi-Fi, then open your Wi-Fi. So just double click on the connection you are connected to right now. Now click on properties. In properties, go to internet protocol version 4 and double click on it. And here by default it is it is on obtain DNS server address automatically. What you have to do is you have to use the following DNS server addresses. So if 8.8.8 .8 was better for you, then just type here 8 space 8 space 8 space 8 and in the alternate DNS type 8 space 8 space 4 space 4. But if the 1.1.1.1 DNS was better for you, then just type 1.1.1.1 and the alternate DNS type 1.0.0.1. And once you have done it, click on OK and this will make a significant difference in your PC's overall online gaming performance. So once you have done it, it will surely help you. Now let's proceed to the third step. In the third step, we will be forwarding ports. So it is a really important step. But first we need to know what ports are used in the game Death Stranding. So just Google Death Stranding ports and go to this first link, second link by portforward.com as you can see port forwarding for Death Stranding. And once you're on this page, you have to scroll down and search for Steam. As you can see, Death Stranding Steam. So Steam means the PC version. Here you have to copy the TCP ports first. You have both the TCP and UDP ports. So if you don't want to visit this website, I'll provide you the both these both of these ports in the description of this video. So you can just copy it from there. So first copy the TCP ports and now go to firewall settings. Go to Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. And once you're in here, you have to select inbound rules. In inbound rules, you have to select a new rule and in new rule, select a port. In port, click on next and select the TCP port because right now we copied the TCP port only and paste it here. Once you have done it, click on next, allow the connection, click on next, select everything here, dom domain, private, public, click on next and give it the name death stranding. And once you have done it, click on finish. Now copy the UDP ports from the description of this video and do the same, create an inbound rule, new rule and here select port, click on next. Now select UDP port because just we just now we copied the UDP ports and paste it here. Click on next, allow the connection, click on next, select everything here, click on next and again give it the name death trending. And once you have done it, click, click on finish and that's it for this step and it will again make a significant difference and help you in getting the best out of your current internet connection for this particular game. Now let's proceed to the last step. Now the last step will also help you in fixing any connection issues with this game. In this step we will be flushing DNS. So just again go to your command prompt by typing cmd and here you have to type ipconfig that is ipconfig space slash flush dns and once you have typed it 
press enter and it will show windows ip configuration successfully flush the dns resolver cache and once you have done it after it try running your game and again you might see a noticeable difference in your gaming performance so these were all the four steps which helped me and helped a lot of users in fixing high ping and multiplayer lag issues for the game death stranding so i hope it helped you if it helped you please leave a like if you have any doubt write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe for more gaming content and i'll be posting more videos on this game so be stay tuned to my channel subscribe now and also thank you and have a nice day